All right, this is Calibos, and we are playing Minecraft. This is MC Eternal. So we are currently grinding up for stuff. Uh, tier 2. Let's go ahead and make the... Three. Make them... Four. Um... Gonna need some more essence really quick. Oh look, we have essence. A surprise. Perhaps. All right. Look, we have essence. What a surprise. Okay, so we now have enough essence to do the thing. Uh, so where I was going with this was here. Um, this will be kind of pricey, but this is one of the reasons that I haven't been using Ender Pearls for things. Is now we can make your five, four. Uh, Five. Okay, so we need to tear them up one more. We can do that. Not a problem. I mean, to be fair, I probably actually already have this because of essence, but not not taking a long time. And Insanium Essence. So we can go ahead and gear up that. We want to craft that four times. Then we'll go ahead and go that, that, craft that four times means these seeds need to be uh, one more as well. Then we should be able to do this. Now we have Enderman seeds, which solves all of our Ender Pearl problems, 100%. And with the mob spawner down there, and the fact that we are uh, the, uh, able to farm zombie chunks with a 30% rate pretty effectively, what I'd kind of like to do is we have blaze rods. Blaze, come on, tell me we have blaze rods. Uh, blaze rods. So blaze rods blaze seeds. Ah, uh, well, we can only get them from a quest. We tell which quest it is. We have to buy them. Unlocked from completing the exploration chapter. Oh man, definitely need to complete this exploration chapter.
I haven't seen a bunch of these. Like, where? Um... Yeah, I hear Yoda doesn't like seagulls either. Okay, so we're going to need a wither key, jeweled key, wood key. I thought we had a wood key. Uh, emerald key, skeleton key. Obsidian skull rings. Iron ring and obsidian skull. Not a thing that we can make yet. We have the flying squid. Um, the ring of the flying squid's actually a thing that we're going to eventually do because not just completing this chapter, but it is on the way uh, towards getting flight. Creative flight. There's a sleeping bag. Lame. Did not know that. I thought I checked for it, but. Uh, light puzzle mini game. Scanner. Used to scan for nearby points of interest. That actually could be pretty useful. Need the thing. Wow, we don't have anything. Bars. Do we have iron bars in here? Bars. We need two gold and two iron. We can do that. Need a scanning module. Uh, okay. Range. Uh, animals, monsters, common ores, rare ores, blocks, structures. Fluids, entity. Hmm. No money there. Battle Tower Master is going to be ridiculous. I will probably end up having to do that one off camera because we have to defeat a hundred battle tower golems uh, that's not i'm not going to do that yet that is going to require better equipment better weapons and stuff but it's got a good reward on it though um unique weapons so wood sword and a book what books do we have in here So one, two, three. Um,
sword. Go. Sword. Hook. Go. Uh, information on Yuka equipment, blah, blah, blah. High striker. Throw hit entities in the air and ring the bell. Gnome stick. Gnomes are known for ran their random acts of often fatal violence. Putting one on a stick keeps the wielder, and that's spelled incorrectly. Safer than their foes. Whacker jab. A taser. I. Again, wielder spelled wrong. Um. They contain alchemist glove, immense power of the being that this feather. Lighting the pirate hook. Okay. It implemented mystery shenanigans. Okay, well, sure. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, world requires stone brick. I have some stone somewhere, really. Stone brick. Okay. Dungeon PDF Volume 8. Hours. They sing a skull. Mushrooms. Okay, that's kind of different. Next one. Large mana flask. Media, this one is rotten flesh, which I'm pretty solid we have somewhere. All right, what does this one say? Uh, studded armor. Plate armor. Light goggles and rocket pants. That sounds like it could just be... Oh gosh, that 
doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Whoever made these is probably just messing around. It clearly has little concern for personal safety. When the gunpowder is ignited, the rockets will increase the wearer's jump heights to almost deadly heights. Possible to glide by burning any remaining fumes if the wearer has a pair of flight goggles. Bounce boost. All they bounced. Hopefully with you still in them. Yeah, hopefully. Magic tether, a piece of rope wrapped in space and tangled by the void. If one focuses while using this item, it will violently pull them through space to a safe place. Lack of focus is not likely not to take you far. Flactory. Uh, containing the power of a fraction of a soul, this abhorrent machination of twisted minds is able to capture the soul of the one who holds it and force it back into their body, unnaturally healing them in the process. Uh, carrying an ender chest is just silly. That is true. Put it in a bag, and you don't even have to put it down to open it. Duct tape. It holds the universe and everything else together. Apply it to the item in, in your other hand, and it will hold that together too, as long as there's something left to hold together. Heart drops. When defeated, creatures have a chance to drop concentrated life essence. It will be absorbed on contact and heal the one who touches it. can be collected in a bottle. Bags. Stolen, lost, discarded, looted. Who knows where these bags of random stuff come from, but finders, keepers, survival rations. Be surprised what you're willing to eat when you're starving. Rotten flesh is not the best, but it can be med made edible well almost. Ocean fish. Spilled potions of dead adventurers have to drain away somewhere. Sometimes that somewhere is... Well, is f maybe that it's supposed to mean full of water. Sometimes that water has fish. Over the years, let's just say a lot of these people, a lot of people have died and these fish taste great. Uh, lantern. While the iron lantern is only a light source, the magic lantern while lit will banish hostile creatures that enter its reach. It can be extinguished with an empty hand and lit with a flint and steel. Ooh, magic lantern. I'm going to make one of those. Brazier, primary source of light and heat, but also good for burning the souls of your fallen foes. Good to know. Grinder, put ores in front of it and marvel as it grinds them to dust. Uh, okay. doing uh i do not remember we have the scanner which we're just gonna and it's a tool and throw it in there right so experience chunks spider chunks skeleton chunks so spider chunks Um, we can make spider chunks, and I believe that we have enough to make the missing three. Skeleton chunks are going to be really handy because uh, that will give us infinite bones, I believe. Uh, and apparently records. Bones, records, and skulls. Um, okay. That is not what I needed to do. Take these up as high as I can. Um, I 
Although, I suppose I could do this. I've done that. If I grab this, go. This is for this. Is that? That will give us the supremium furnace, which is slightly effective. So the supremium furnace uh, over here in agriculture. Uh, one hundred percent efficiency, which means I do believe that a single stick will burn will cook an item now. Ah, uh, holy monkeys! I do believe I was what we call wrong? That was fast. Oh, that. All right, um, next step on our uh, quest here. Oh, it's a shooting star. Uh, we need to follow that. That was good timing looking up. Ridiculously low. Uh, it's gone. Oh no, there it is. Clouds. Lost it in the clouds. Okay, we are gonna turn the clouds off. Clouds off. What? Did it impact somewhere? Oh, Jesus, monkeys. Holy God. Look at that. You just destroyed everything. What the heck was that? I mean, it was off that way. How did how did we lose it? Okay, let's uh sorcery book. Um Discovery. Oh, 
Moment. Constellation. Ridiculous. Radius. Oh, fancy. Need an indexer or something because it was ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to look it up so that we're not like looking for a thousand years or something in this book, which they always have trouble finding stuff in. Um, a sorcery, shooting star. Under knowledge, patient. Gosh, three constellation radius. Look at that hole that the freaking creeper made. Damage stuff way up to here. This is nuts. Was that even reasonable? I am so glad that we light up everything up at the base because I I am not sure how motivated I would be to recover from this much damage at at all like I'm not sure What even is the, the point of making something this dangerous, you know, as a spawning mob? I don't understand. <laughs> God, they just wrecked it. Turrets? Definitely a thing that we're going to work on. Um, so, according to what I'm, I just read about the shooting stars, you have to chase them down and be there when they land. If you're not there when they land, you're SOL. Uh, they apparently always start at the moon and spread from some uh, and go somewhere else. Bed pet. Okay. Your nuggets. Uh, 
Um, where's chest come from? I have no idea. So it, uh, the other possibility is that the explosion wasn't from the creeper. It was from the star impacting. It says if you're there when the star impact, there's loot, and you're supposed to look for a shining casing or something like that. Or that it's one of the things that can spawn in. Um... Yeah, that was ridiculous. By the way, I don't use it, but this is why it's there. All of my farm animals are gone. What? Well, so much for my cows. That is kind of annoying and definitely means we're going to need to, uh, we're definitely going to have to have like uh, essence for all the, the farm animals because if they keep despawning, Although I suppose that that explosion, which maybe damaged my base over here, like way away, could have killed them. I don't know. All right, well, we're at 30 minutes, so I'm definitely going to call it here. Um, that was a little bit awful. Uh, I hope you liked the episode. Um, perhaps less enjoyable for me right at the end. But, you know, that's, that's how it rolls sometimes, I suppose. Giant crater. Um, so if you did like the episode, leave me a like. If you didn't, do not. Simple as that. Questions, comments, concerns, they're great things. And uh, go ahead and put them below. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do about getting to everything. I try to respond to, to most of the comments. I um, feel like I'm pretty good at it. And I have a Discord and sometimes I get stuff there. So I think that's in my channel information. Maybe I'll put it below my videos at some point. Um, but yeah, have a good night.